Good morning, everyone. I hope what we did in the previous class you all must have enjoyed. So let's continue doing the same chapter. And it teaches you a lot. You know, this chapter teaches you a lot. If you understand it nicely, you'll gain a lot. Okay, now exercise 6. Here it says there is an error in each of the sentences. We have to underline the incorrect word and write the correct word in the blank. So what is the wrong word here? The river flows swift down the hill. It is swift wrong here. It should be in a swift manner. So the word will be swiftly. The word will be the wo wrong word is swift. The wrong word is swift and the correct word is swiftly. Understood? In a swift manner. This work is done very bad. Not very bad. In a bad manner. So it will be badly. It will be this work is done very badly. Now next page. As we move on to the next page. Tony played good. What is the word wrong here? Good. When something happens in a good way, we say well. It will be Tony played well. Sheila is feeling poor. Poor ne kehte. She is feeling either she is feeling bad about something or we can say Sheila is feeling low. Low is when we don't feel happy. When we don't feel happy. So that is Sheila is feeling low. Don't speak so loud. No. In a loud manner. So it will be loudly. Don't speak so loudly. We couldn't find the book somewhere. Somewhere. It will be we couldn't find the book anywhere. We couldn't find the book kahi bhi. Somewhere is at some place. But here it is not at any place. So we couldn't find the book anywhere. Next is read the sentences and correct the modal verbs if necessary. You can say modal or you can say modal. My mother can write, oh sorry, my mother can read, write and speak five languages. This sentence is perfectly fine. There is no problem. This sentence has no change. It can rain tonight. You don't say it can. It may. There is a possibility. It may rain tonight. You may tell her the truth. No. You should. That you know very well. We should always speak the truth. You should tell her the truth. He can sing but he may not dance. May. He can sing but he cannot dance. Can I invite some friends for lunch? You are asking for the permission. May I invite some friends for lunch? You must come home by 7 in the evening. This is perfectly fine. Okay? Now next exercise. What does it say? It says... Joining using and, but, or, when, before, if, or, because. The man would not enter the house because he was afraid of the dog. Because he was afraid of. Conjunctions will by the way, I can tell you. You can use, there is no fixed rule. Ki either because he use hoga ya or he use hoga. Depending on the sentence, depending on the mood, we can use. There might be a chance that two or three conjunctions are possible. You must be quiet or 
यू मस्ट लीव द रूम लाइक चॉइस बनानी है ना इधर बी क्वाइट और लीव द रूम सो आई टोल्ड यू वेन वी हैव इट वी हैव टू मेक अ चॉइस इट इज और द चिल्ड्रन लुक राइट एंड लेफ्ट एंड देन crossed the road now see when we have joined the sentence we will not say they because we are already talking about them the children looked right and left and then crossed the road that is the utility of join uh, using conjunctions na our two sentences should become short if you are using conjunctions our work must be shortened that is why we have taken up with they The girl fell off her bicycle, but did not cry. We'll not use the she because we are already talking about the same girl, so we'll not talk about her again. We reached the station. The train had already left, but but the train had already left. You must eat well. You want to be healthy. If you want to be healthy, that is always true. If you want to be healthy, you have to eat well. Fine. Now, next sentence. Uh, next exercise says, use the correct word from the bracket and make a proper sentence. Okay. The two boys took their kites to the park. The two boys t w took their t h e i r kites to the park okay have you ever seen s w e n seen such a magnificent scene scene means uh, some view whatever we see is a scene i think it is quite fair f a i r it is f a i r it is quite fair that rickshaw drivers won the fair f a r e fair hote na the money we pay when we travel in the bus or train or anywhere we pay the fair for it that is f a r e f a i r fair is right thing okay the tree is bear b a r e okay i'll just clean this first the tree is bare bare means without leaves but in summer it will bear fruits now b e a r bare means produce okay but in summer it will produce fruits after going After going through the letter, he threw it in the dustbin. Going through means reading. When we say go through, we want we are saying please read. Please go through means please read. So after going through, after reading the letter, he threw it in the dustbin. Threw is the past tense for throw. He threw it in the dustbin. The audience is not allowed. A double L O W E D. Allowed means they could not do. The audience is not allowed. That like you are not allowed to talk in the class, है ना? So same way, the audience is not allowed to sing aloud. Aloud means in a loud manner. In the songs, in the concert. So you see same pronunciation, है? But the spelling is different, and so the meanings are different. We call them homophones. Okay, we call them homophones. Now, her mother never received Pinky's letter. She forgot to write the let ad address on the postcard. She wrote a letter to her mother on the postcard. She bought a picture postcard for the snow-capped mountains. Pinky went on a school excursion to Manali. Pinky wondered why her mother did not send her a reply. We have to put them in a correct sequence so that they look like a proper story. Okay, so what should be the first one? First, what happened? First, we'll say Pinky went on a school excursion to Manali. Second, she wrote a letter. She bought a picture card. She forgot to write. Her mother never received. Pinky wondered. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
Number D wala is 2. She bought a picture postcard. Now what will she do? She will write a letter to her mother on the postcard. So this is number 3. She forgot to write the address on the postcard. Oh my God. She wrote the letter. She forgot to write the address. Now, after this, her mother never received. Oh, her mother never received the letter. Pinky wondered why her mother did not send her a reply. So, this will be number 6. Okay, children. This is how you should read 2-3 times and you will be able to realize Give which sentence should be the first one, the second, the third and the fourth and the last like this. So, these are very funny, very simple exercises we did for these two days because now you will have your winter break. Okay. Do them nicely in your books and enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. It's very cold these days. Be safe inside the homes. Okay. Bye-bye.